I'm Drew Binsky and I'm going to show you what $10 can get you in Dakar, Senegal. The car is amazing. The people are very peaceful. It's an amazing and stable country full of beautiful sights, beautiful people and everything. Dakar is a place I've always wanted to visit because the name just sounded so cool to me and the fact that every traveler I know tells me it's one of their favorite cities in Africa. The drive up here was stunning from the Gambia because we saw the terrain change drastically from green and humid to desert and dry. Truth be told, it hasn't taken me very long to discover how incredible this city is. Right now I'm inside the brand new mosque in Dakar which is the biggest mosque in Sub-Saharan Africa. It is just stunning in here. The beaches are world class and the hospitality is just about as good as it gets. On one hand, the layout of the land, the dusty streets, and the Islamic African culture kind of reminds me of Nouakchott, Mauritania. But on another hand, the society feels very European with the cafes, the tree-lined streets, and the lovely monuments. It's just stunning. You have the, the freeway here with all the busy cars, and you have the very peaceful beach right down there with below the cliff. Best of all, I'm finding Dakar to be a lot cheaper than I expected. $10 is about 6,000 sefas, so let's get right into it. So we're walking around the market now, trying to find some things to buy. It's very colorful, very lively, just like any other market in the world. Sal, what are we going to buy? Uh, clothing? Get you a skull cap. My Muslim friend Sal thinks I should get a skull cap, better than this green cap. I'm on a mission to try some local street food, so we approached the first vendor we saw. Hi, what is this? I'll get a couple for us. Okay, can we get uh, four? Cut. Cut. We think it looks like an empanada. We're not sure exactly what it is because we don't have a local here, but let's try it. This is uh, mystery food. Mystery meat. But when you go to every country, you have to be adventurous. Same inside, man. It's noodles. It's noodles. Yeah, I don't think you should put noodles inside of bread. A little bit anticlimactic. No, I'm not into it. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Senegal is actually a very photo-friendly country so far. We haven't really been yelled at for photos like we have in other countries, so that's a positive. And now we're trying to find a skull cap. Every Muslim-majority country has their own style of cap, and it just makes for a great souvenir. I'm looking for like a very local Senegalese cap. What, can you, what do you got for me? I think you should get a gold Gilles. one to be very Abu Dhabi. But we're not in Abu Dhabi. I'd like to cater to each oh. local culture. 150. Me. One. Wow. Okay, cool. That's the one. Winner. Black and gold. Good? I, yeah. A little bit of cultural appropriation, it's never too bad. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna use wear it for the rest of the day. Thank you. Now we're getting some coconuts here because it's freaking hot outside. Coconuts are like bananas. They taste different in every country that grows them. So I always take the opportunity to try one when I can. Coconuts flying from that side, oh, yeah, taxis machete. hitting from this side. <laughs> Gotta love it. Tense market experience. Rate it one to ten. Ten being the best coconut you've ever had, one being the worst. One. <laughs> Dude, I think it's pretty good. I would put it at a six. How's the meat? It's better than the water. Next, we headed into a small shop to pick up some Muslim prayer beads because I've seen so many variations and colors. Bingo. These are the ones. One thousand. Yeah. Ah, okay. Can you see? I just got some prayer beads and my buddy Sal is going to explain to me how they work. So this is a misbah or a tasbih in Islam. It has 99 beads for the 99 names of Allah. Usually we say Alhamdulillah, Subhanallah, Allahu Akbar, 99 times each. Okay, now to head back, we are hopping in a taxi. All the taxis here in Dakar are the same. They're really old yellow cars that are really beaten down and torn apart in the inside. This is only second to Madagascar. A second in what regard? Like worse cars, worse taxis. And of course, you always got to negotiate because they don't have meters. And uh, Alvaro speaks French, so he's going to do all the talking. It's the Ibis. The Ibis Hotel. Ibis. No? The set doesn't know. He doesn't want to go there. Uh, momentito. Momentito. I just need to be a little bit persistent. If the first taxi driver says no, keep going. Two more minutes, you'll find it. And you got what you wanted. All new? All new from February. So, what are your thoughts about the taxi? I burned myself on the armrest. We're sitting here baking in the traffic. It's so hot, there's no AC. So my hair is really long and disgusting and it is time to get it cut. So I am now walking on the streets of Dakar 
try to find the cheapest haircut I can get. So let's see what we can find. Monsieur, haircut. Where? Okay, I've just found the barber shop. <laughs> see how this goes. No, France. No English. Un peu. Yeah. You can make like a a four, like a buzzer, everything the same. This is number four. Yes, this, everything. We can't communicate to each other, but I'm doing my best. C'est bon. C'est bon. No English. No. No French. We just communicate by by hand gestures. I love getting haircuts in different countries. It's always a different experience. It's good. It's good. C'est bon. Yeah. Merci. Hein? In total, I got street food, a Senegalese cap, three fresh coconuts, one prayer beads, a 20 minute taxi ride, and a haircut for $9.95. And that's what $10 can get you in Dakar, Senegal. Damn, that was fun. Oh, yeah. Uh, you and Aminata. But how did you see in the taxi? Wait, turn the volume yes. up. How? Wow. I went to, on the key. I see. Come, in. come here, come, come here. In. Come in, come in. Come in the taxi. Do you want to come in? I want to talk to you more. Huh? I want to come talk to you. Okay. okay. Come in the taxi. Okay. Oh my, she's just showing my Instagram. She's like, <laughs> come here, come in, come in. Okay, so what's your name? Go. What's your name? Rasha. So, Rasha here. She just came up to me on the side of the road showing my Instagram. Yes, I saw you on Instagram. That's so cool. You're amazing. How, how are you? How's life? I'm fine, I'm fine. What are you doing in Dakar? I'm from Niger, but I live in Dakar. Man, uh, me and my husband. You and your husband live here. My husband works in uh, Senegal. It's okay, no français. You, your, your English is good. Toi, toi, tu parles pas français. No français, I'm really sorry. <laughs> but uh, moi, je, je, je parle français. I believe you can do English. I, I believe in you. So, how's, that, how's life? How are you? Ça va bien? You know Aminata? Yes! My sister. Let's send her a picture right now. Let's send her a photo. Here. Aminata. Hold on. Ready? One, two, three. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Have a nice day. Yeah, this is Sal Avalo. You can follow him too. He's also famous. Ciao. Ciao. That's crazy, man. I'm Drew Binsky, and if you like my travel videos, please click subscribe and join me as I plan to visit every country in the world.